All right, well, go ahead and get started and others can join in uh, as we get going. So thank you guys for, uh, for stopping in. Uh, my name is Mark Johnson. I'm the project manager here at, uh, at Semtix for K-12. Um, Going to go ahead and kind of walk you through a little bit about our, our company and our product and then show you the product uh, as well. So our company uh, originated in Auckland, New Zealand about 15 years ago and just moved here to the U.S. Uh, in the last three years and started really getting into the higher ed and K-12 space to assist with um, kind of the digital learning um, really kind of took off, as we all know, last year with the pandemic. Uh, so what our product does is it, it helps give the hands-on experience that you would miss from the practical sessions uh, in person and allow you to do it virtually. So I'll go ahead and uh, share my screen here and uh, walk you through. All right, everyone able to see here? Can I get a thumbs up just to appreciate it? Thank you. Okay, so once you get onto our, our home screen here, this is, this is the dashboard, all right? Over here to the side, um, you'll be able to see uh, how many modules uh, you as the student has completed, or if you're an instructor, uh, how much time your students have spent on um, each individual session here. So it shows your overall study time, and your average study time. The one bad thing for you students is that our uh, system being interactive, the second you quit interacting with the system, your time quits logging. So you cannot just come in, click onto the system, let your time run. So any time that shows your total study time and the average study time is actually how much time uh, the student is interacting with the service, not just uh, how long they've been in. Um, Sorry, got a little thrown off there. Um, down here, we do have our logbook. So if you're just using this service um, and don't integrate it with your LMS, uh, the grades will go directly to a uh, logbook dashboard, um, which we'll be changing to gradebook. Again, that wording uh, comes from our Auckland, New Zealand office. So that will be, be changing to gradebook um, in, in quarter two of this year. Um, but, Anyway, as we move on here, our modules, uh, we have modules in uh, medical assisting, dental assisting, um, respiratory care, and uh, hey, Jaker, is it possible for you to admit the people so I don't need to go ahead and admit people as, uh, as they're coming in? That would be great. Yes, uh, I'm admitting. Okay, thank you. Uh, it keeps popping up for me, so just wanted to make sure. Um, but so anyway, here, uh, this will only show the modules available for the students uh, that are applicable for them. So for our MA program that has 18 modules, it'll only show the 18 modules. You are able to only show the modules you want seen at that particular time. So if you don't want students to be able to jump ahead in the curriculum, you are able to, to correct that to show what you need shown at each individual time. So I'll go ahead and hop into to one here so we can see what the modules look like. So for intra, uh, administering intradermal injections, as you log on, the first thing that pops up here is going to be text. So our text of um, kind of walking you through your pre-preparation steps and the actual procedure of administering intradermal injection. So we have our text here, video off to the side, as students read down and get further into the reading, notice the video will actually jump to where they are in the reading. So if at any point they wanna switch over to the reading portion or the video portion, it translates directly where they're at. The other nice function to this as well is that we do have Google Translate integrated here. So if you do have students that English is their second language, they can have this translated into their native language. That being said, it is Google Translate, it is medical terms. so can't guarantee that it's going to translate properly. Uh, you, you will have a little bit of issues with that, uh, but they do have that ability, which I think is, is a nice feature. The second aspect here that I really like, and I think the students really appreciate as well, is the anatomy portion of this. This is very interactive. It's able to stay at the surface level, but then it's also able to go into a 3D module. So as this loads, It's 
spinning wheel of death. Love it. Okay, we'll try that again. Okay, I'm not quite sure why uh, why we're having issues here. Um, give me two seconds, please. Well, we at least have something loaded this time. All right, we'll go ahead and skip past that. But typically when this properly loads, it is a 3D module where the student is able to actually rotate the image and is able to click on key terminology um, and pull up the exact definition and what that particular anatomy uh, is involved in this procedure. What is happening? All right. However, I think the biggest thing that, that our system does here that um, has been the most resourceful during this, this time is the ability to do our simulations. So inside here, we have three different modes. The first one being the test mode. As you see, it's exactly what it sounds like, right? It's, it's a test where the student will uh, perform the procedure and be given a grade that'll log directly into their grade book or again, directly into your LMS. If you have Canvas or Blackboard or Schoology, uh, it can actually be integrated and just pull the grade straight into uh, your back office there. The second mode being practice mode, exactly like it sounds. It is just the ability for them to practice. It'll give them a score, show them what they're uh, missing on for them to go back through and practice. But for me, I think what separates us and is a really cool function is our scenario in our, uh, in our learn mode. And what this is, is it's a little bit more of a kind of teacher integrated uh, version of the scenarios. So. What I mean by that is, as they come in, the first step here, you've washed your hands, select the first step of the procedure. As they hover over top of the answers, the incorrect answers stay in red, only the correct answer is in green. Once they click the answer, it'll actually show them a video of that exact step that they've now completed. We have created all the content ourselves. This is all of our own material, so it matches exactly with what the content is and not just a pulled clip from, from YouTube or something of that sort. Okay, so again, your next step, set up the equipment tray is the correct answer. The other one stay in red. It won't allow you to select those. You select the correct answer. It shows the step yet again, okay? Once they have gotten to a point where maybe they don't wanna watch all the videos, they can go ahead and skip it, move on to the next thing, okay? Um, we'll skip a little bit further into the procedure here. So here's where it gets really fun in the interactive. Please select the correct needle uh, for the instrument panel and place it over the syringe. Again, everything that is incorrect will stay in red. Only the correct answer is green. It'll actually have to physically bring it over and drop it onto the syringe. And again, the video will play showing that exact step that's being done.
once all the prep work is done, it'll actually get into the procedure itself now. We've set up our patient here. Again, select the correct syringe and needle and place it in the correct area. Here's one thing that I really liked about the learn function. Say like the student thinks for whatever reason that the TB test needs to be given in the bicep, not the forearm. If they select it incorrect, select it incorrect. The third time they select it incorrectly rather than leaving them stuck, the module will actually pause and circle the correct area that the injection needs to go into. So again, it's basically like having that instructor there helping the student with, hey, that's not correct. Here's where it needs to go. So now they can select the correct area. It's again displayed. Now, as most of you know, the bevel needs to be up here. They will actually need to pull and rotate until the bevel comes up. Now, Again, it needs to be at that five to 15 degree angle. The needle's not quite there, so they'll actually need to drag to the appropriate angle. Push in the needle to the proper distance, and then actually dispense your TB shot. So I like that it's actually pretty interactive here and you get to see the, the step happening um, as they're doing it, not just talking about it, clicking the answer or watching a video, it actually shows that step being done correctly. So again, with our simulations, I really like that it, it starts from the very beginning before the patient even arrives in the office and then actually has them going all the way through even the, uh, the post work as well, the, the cleanup stages and how to, to properly finish this procedure. Doing the last checks. And then it actually even goes as far as to have the patient walk and shown to the door with their paperwork. Okay, so again, uh, for us, this is just a very hands-on ability. And now here at the end, it produces a little bit of a, here's your score, here's what your percentage would have been, and here's how much time you took on it. The really nice thing with this as well, is as you can see, I got a 76, not very good. I probably don't wanna go on to the practice or test portion yet. I need to learn a little bit more, okay? I'm actually able to go back in, do the simulation again. And now, even though the steps stay the same, the order of the questions and the answers changes. So the student can't just remember, oh yeah, it was A, I'll select A again, okay? As you see, it was B last time, it's A this time, right? So it makes them at least learn the material, not just be able to click through. And then the other very nice thing to this is, is how I had shown if they make the incorrect decision three times in a row, not only does it show them the correct answer on the spot, it'll actually also show you as the instructor where the student was having errors the most. So through these 80 steps of the administering intradermal injection, if they were only struggling on steps, let's say 57 to 63, that's actually the rotating of the bevel, inserting the needle in and dispensing, um, they'll be able to show you exactly where they were mistaken. So you can go back to just that five steps, not all 80. So that is uh, the end of the demonstration here. I will open it up if anyone has any questions. None? Okay. Well, thank you guys for, for stopping by. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, we do have a booth. Please feel free to stop by. Um, you can request a demo account on there.
uh, so that you will actually be able to access this yourself and kind of play through it a little bit and see if it's something that, that you want to inter, uh, integrate into your course uh, next year. Other than that, uh, thank you again. And uh, Before you go, yeah. I'm sorry, this is Ryan. My name is Ryan Flayhigh, but I'm, I'm head of product and uh, marketing at SimTutor Simtix. And um, as Mark mentioned, you know, we do have a booth um, where you can sign up to get demo access. And that's, that's demo access for the, the remainder of the summer, pretty much. So you'll have a lot of time to explore our products. Um, but also wanted to let you know that we're throwing a little contest into the mix. We kind of just came up with this. And for those who do sign up through our booth or any of the other links that we make available to you, um, we're going to be offering prizes. And those prizes include a $100 gift card. And we're going to be giving away one $100 gift card a day. So um, hopefully you are already going to sign up because you're so interested in our product. But if not, uh, this hopefully will incentivize you to make it a priority today. Yep. And thank you for your time. And thanks for letting us be part of this awesome, awesome um, convention and, and the community that you all serve, which is which I just find super impressive. So thank you for your work. Yeah. And any student that's here competing, good luck in the competition. And uh, hopefully you have uh, fun with our modules. They are integrated in every competition being used here this weekend or this week, rather. So uh, enjoy it and, uh, and good luck to you. Thank you, everyone.